so our today's topic is to cause a pushback from a JavaScript right what I mean is uh, when I click a button I'll show you the design okay there are right now I have two sets of button this is a normal ASP.NET button when I when you click on this I have already you know the code written for this but when you click this guy this is a normal job input button not a ASP.NET button right so when you click this this guy I want some sort of code behind functionality needs to be executed so let me run this thing very quickly so this is a normal functionality when I click this guy it is going to hit the push back and which you will see something like this right if I hit again the seconds change okay so we need the same sort of functionality when you click this guy but the question comes in your mind this is a normal button the input type button it is not run at equal to server and I need to execute the functionality of this guy so how can we do that so if you check this input button has on click event which calls a JavaScript method now this method has a responsibility to execute this method so in order to execute this method what I gotta do is I gotta write simple code dollar then I'll say <coughs> hash copy paste and I'll simply say dot click okay and let's run I'm sorry let's refresh so as soon as I refresh you can see when I click this guy the second is 2 if I click this guy now the second is 5 you notice using the JavaScript function I'm causing a pushback behind the scene actually I'm doing nothing I'm just calling the pushback of this guy I mean in you know in time in the time of 2.0 we used to do you know like uh, underscore underscore do do push back then we used to provide the button name and then the click used to happen but like in jQuery now the things are pretty simple when you call a click event right it calls you the code behind method which is exactly what we need and it works very well if you think of an update panel as well so what I'm gonna do is right now I'm gonna add an update panel so in order to add an update panel first of all I need to have a script manager okay I'll say ID is something something run at equal to server then I'll close it down so my script manager is ready inside of this div what next I'll do is I'll add an update panel ID would be update content run it equal to server and all done now after this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one second content template and all done right inside of content template I need to add this set of code and I should be very much okay okay so now you can see let me go back and refresh so as soon as I refresh you can see let's try this thing first if I hit this thing right now it's inside an update panel so it's a normal click and it's inside an update panel so it works pretty fine right but now let's hit the JavaScript button do you think inside of an update panel and all it's going to work yes it is going to work because this guy this guy basically calls this guy so no matter like it's update panel or it's a normal panel it is going to work so this is one of the technique the other techniques I show you the other th other day was either you create a service okay you create a service that does some job and in the page where's my page uh, not this guy this guy in the page you make a Ajax call okay on a button event this is the generally recommended technique by the other I mean the people they use this technique but I mean it depends on the situation like you know uh, your button is doing the button who is actually causing a pushback has been it has been disabled for some reason but there is some way you need to hit the pushback so the previous way I showed you that was the correct way you can do it using that I mean in many interviews you go they ask this kind of stupid question okay like using a JavaScript I need to cause a pushback I need to execute certain set of fun functionality of a button or something like that so that could be your answer the other better answer is this one now this Ajax call calls your service 
you pass in some data it gives you back some data you pass it back and you show it on the client side so basically this is nothing very simple ajax call you should you're telling like what type of uh, call you're making is it a get or is it a post then you're saying okay, like uh, where is your service located and which function you are calling is there any parameters if there is any parameter then you specify the parameter content type could be an xml or a json or could be anything else it depends what type of content you are passing in our case if you if i'm passing any parameters so it has to be json format json format is very simple key pair values like id is a key and this guy is a value so this is what i'm passing over there and based on that i'm getting the response back as a json again and then i got success and a failure block on which i do some action and get my job done right so basically i guess you got the idea how do you call you know a code behind method using a javascript right so if you like this video please subscribe thank you for watching